Hey everyone, and welcome to part 55. Yeah, here we go. It was like only yesterday I caught another 99 sea basses, and now I'm back down to 34, I believe it was. So, if today goes well, then I'm going to be down to 30. So I'm already two-thirds of the way through the sea passes. It's, um... It's not a pleasant experience having the duty of catching sea bass after sea bass or black trout after black trout and then sea bass after sea bass and getting sick all the time. It's not a pleasant duty and um well um obviously the sea bass are more than two thirds of the way through them so I'm not gonna be too far away from having the duty of going fishing again. Not something that I'm looking forward to. So, um, rather than think about the tournaments that I have done, it might be smarter to think about the tournaments that I haven't done. I know I've not done the Beetle Tournament, or the Machine Tournament. Um, they're both probably going to have to wait, to be honest. I've... I think... I've not done the Thunder Tournament, though I'd imagine I'll be able to do it with Phoenix Mon. I've not done the Cool Tournament, though I'd imagine I'd be able to do it with Mega Seedramon. I've not done the Version 0 Tournament, and apparently I can do it with Mega Seedramon. Version 1 is a tournament I've not done, and will have to wait. The Dino Tournament I've not done, and highly doubt I'll be able to. Um, the Animal Tournament I've not done and I'm not sure about. The S tournament I ha have done twice I believe, although I will need to do it a third time because one of the prizes, well there's three prizes and obviously I've got two of them, but I need to get the other prize which I believe is Metal Parts, Nature Digivolve to Metal Greymon. But uh, I'm... I, I am getting there with the tournaments. Now I need to have this care mistake before I enter the tournament. But I don't need to, but I would rather. I'd rather have the care mistake and that way he'll probably then need to go again afterwards. There is no rush with these care mistakes, but if the opportunity is there I might as well allow it because if my, if my gorge gets like within one care mistake of being full, you know, it's not going to be a problem. I, all I have to do is make sure he doesn't have any care mistakes until I'm ready for Sukumon. Obviously, I can quite easily avoid care mistakes. All I have to do is take him to the toilet or give him a portable potty. It's all easy stuff. And I see my tamer level didn't go down, which is nice. And we get Airdramon. I believe a possible previous form of Mega Seedramon, I think. I'm trying to think of Mega Seedramon's previous form, because there's Seedramon, obviously. Colamon. Waymon. I think Airdramon's one as well. Though I believe Airdramon can also digivolve to Phoenixmon, though. Because there's a, there's a weird glitch in this game where, for some reason, uh, there's two Digimon, I think they're Seedramon and Birdramon, where it's actually possible for them to Digivolve to Airdramon, and then I believe they then dig and then I believe they either stay as Airdramon or they Digivolve again immediately afterwards. It happened to me once, I can't remember which Digimon I had, but I ended up Digivolving to Airdramon and then immediately Digivolve into Phoenixmon, which was strange. 
But it can happen. There's also a, a weird glitch where if you have um, a Digimon who can Digivolve to Mega Seedramon, aka Seedramon Waymon or whatever, apparently if they Digivolve to Sukumon and then you take them to King Sukumon and get it turned back into the champion, apparently there's a 1 in 3 chance of it then immediately Digivolve into Mega Seedramon. And if that is the case, then believe me, you should pick, if you want Mega Seedramon, pick that method over getting a Coral Charm. Believe me, getting a Coral Charm was horrible. I mean, the little trick I noticed of mashing the X button, where you're basically, because the X button's what you obviously use to reel in, but rather than reel in, if you ma mash the X button so that you're not quite reeling in, it seems that an item can like automatically catch on and if you have no joy and you reel in slightly and then and then do and then keep mashing the X button and it seems that if you do it right you seem to always get an item or at least at least if you get it right. But your chances of it being a coral charm remain the same. You got you have got a lot of items in this game that are stupidly rare. The um are they called deluxe mushrooms or deluxe mushrooms, something like that. But there's it's an item that you find on the ground and um, it boosts I think your HP and MP by a hundred and then everything else by ten or something like that. But again, it's ridiculously rare. In the in the time that I've been playing this game, I have literally stumbled upon a handful of those um, deluxe mushrooms, whatever they're called. And I'm trying to think how long I've been playing this game. I must have been I must have been playing this game probably for about 13 years. Because um, I, I, I try and think back. I know that see um, I'm I'm 21 years old. And obviously I'm not in education, but if I was in education, then I would effectively be in year 17. Um, and I know that when I was a kid, my sister had a PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64, and I used to, um, I used to watch her play. I used to really, I had like a, an immediate fascination for Vidget games, and I used to love watching her play, and eventually she used to let me um, play on the consoles, and I'm trying to think what year I was in. I remember playing video games when I was in year three, which would have made me about seven, uh, or seven or eight. I'm trying to think if I started before then, but I remember definitely playing in year three, and that would be about 14 years ago. Although, um, not every game I played then, there were some games that I didn't play until later, but video games themselves, I must have been playing them for about 14 years now. It's been pretty much the main part of my life, like my whole life. 32 wins. Looking okay. Well, 32 championship wins. Yeah, this game, I think I was in year four when I started playing it, so that would be about 13 years ago. Thank God for Centaur and Money, he can really help us pass the time. There was that baby Digimon who he used to be able to rest with, but obviously, as soon as the shop gets opened, he disappears. Although you can still rest without him, but then when your prosperity points get to a certain level, 
the house gets upgraded and then you can no longer rest there. I guess it's meant to be assumed that you'd have sent Taramon by then. And we need to sleep and nothing else. And my Care Mistake Gorge is about 40% there. And there's no demand at the moment, so all is going okay. And we now reach the dizzy heights of 48. Almost half a century. And we go under 30 sea basses. And he still declines them, even though and there's no point scolding, I need to stop making that mistake. For some reason you can't successfully scold if he declines the sea bus. It's a bit strange, um, declining, because his happiness is in the positive. It's more than... It, it's more than halfway in the positive, or, or, um, which is overall about 75% full. When I was a kid, I was a terrible tamer, because I never actually fed my Digimon, never. I just, um, if they got hungry, I, I, I literally just did nothing, I just... I, I, I took the meat from the Digimon, but I just sold it. I sold it and, and you know, profited the money. I never fed my Digimon. And as for like care mistakes and things like that, I, I never bothered taking them to the toilet. I just let them shit all over the place because I thought I, I found it funny, I found it amusing. So I was a terrible tamer when I was younger and consequently my happiness and discipline was no surprise at the absolute minimum or thereabouts. And every time I raised a Digimon I got Sukumon at least once or twice. And I used to really have to make the most of King Sukumon. It was then I sort of got to understand the um how it all worked. I eventually I decided to be a better tamer, I decided to feed my Digimon, I decided to take them to the toilet. And then I realised the happiness and discipline stayed in the positive, and Sukumon stayed away. And eventually I realised um, how the whole Sukumon thing worked. Um, because when I when I became a good tamer and um, obviously didn't have I uh, took my Digimon to the toilet when possible and all stuff like that, obviously I no longer got Sukumon and I was puzzled. Uh, at first I thought that maybe it was to do with the happiness and discipline or maybe it was just luck because I used to kind of think that he just that Sukumon just came as default and then when I stopped getting Sukumon. You know, I thought, wow, is it because of the happiness and discipline? Is it, you know, is it just luck? Is is my Digimon just happy with me or something? But, um, yeah, um, obviously, eventually I realised the, um, care mistake gorge and then, obviously I noticed it filled up slightly when you had care mistakes and then, I saw it get full, then I saw I did evolve to Sukumon, then I understood how it worked. And, um, and I went from thinking that keeping happiness and discipline above the minimum was impossible until... But, but, well, I mean, initially, I f when I had all the care mistakes and didn't feed my Digimon and everything, obviously my happiness and discipline didn't really exceed the minimum. I used to think that it was like natural and it was impossible to have it in the positive until I obviously came to realise that that wasn't the case at all. If you're a good tamer, then it's very easy to keep your happiness and discipline in the positive. So I went from thinking it was impossible to realising it was quite the opposite. And Garudamon is learning the hard way that just doing war cry repeatedly is not really going to get you anywhere.
Digimon, to be one of them, but one of the more likable Digimon. Because the episode, obviously, in the Devimon era, when uh, Ty and Ogumon were stranded in that snowy place and you got to meet Frigimon. I don't know what about Frigimon, I just found him very likable. How, like, helpful he was, and... Yeah. They say you didn't stand a ghost of a chance. It's the last battle, I don't want to bother back with magic, just wanna Vanquish Bergeron. I'm not quite sure why the tamer level went up. The B tournament's not exactly a monster of a tournament. And we can't enter the animal. Okay. Let's see how we could enter the Thunder Wing. Freeze done, Earth's done. No sign of the Cool Tournament or Version 0 Tournament, but it will show. Guess I'll be entering the beat again. Bit of a close shave there with me offering the sea bass and him declining it. Perhaps that's a sign that my discipline needs to go back up. So, um, I, I managed to go into the infantry, he declined the sea bass. But then I managed to go back into the infantry, so I got a bit lucky. Because that, because the second time he accepted it. So yeah, I'm gonna um, boost my discipline, or at least try to. 
but um, yeah, I mean, with Digimon, like with anything, you, the villains aren't necessarily hated by the audience, and the good guys aren't exactly aren't necessarily loved by the audience. As I mentioned about how I um, was like how I'm f quite fond of Etamon. When I was a kid, I absolutely loved Etamon, and you know, I still do. Not as much, not, but that's got nothing to do with me liking it less, rather just where I'm an adult I don't take cartoons as seriously as I used to, but... Yeah, I mean, Etamon was a villain, I loved him. Um, trying to think of good guys who I didn't like. I mean, another example of a bad guy I like, Olgamon. I, I like Olgamon because I find him quite amusing. Um, and you know, there's, um, you know, there's, um, I'm sure that if I can think of it, there's good guys I don't like. I mean, I'm not particularly fond of Leomon. Um, I just found him quite annoying, to be honest. But then, being, but then if you're a Leomon hater, the season, the seasons of Digimon are quite kind on you, because Leomon is quite literally killed in every season. I mean, I've not seen all the seasons, but people, obviously I've seen the first and third when he was killed, the second he didn't feature, and um, friends have told me that in all the other seasons that he features in, he is killed. But with anything, sometimes the villains are very likeable. I mean, I, I really like Hades from Kingdom Hearts, because I just find him comical. He, he, he is accepting most of these, it seems. I am trying to scold him at least once more. Okay, maybe I... maybe my discipline's good. Maybe I should... instead of doing this now, maybe I should do this just before the tournament. Because that's when I'm gonna need the discipline most, because... How I enter the tournament is how I leave the tournament. I might as well just rest, actually, rather than wait for the care mistake. So when I save just before the tournament, maybe that's when I need to try and boost the discipline. Or maybe do it just before I save. That way, at least, at least, it, it, at least the progress is there. going for over 20 minutes, so I think I should end the part. So, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed.